What's going on guys? Teaspoon Miner here with a quick teaspoon of cryptocurrency for you. So what we're going to go over tonight, as you can see, is Unminable. Unminable is an automated system, like it says here, that takes care of everything with regards to exchanging, transferring, and delivering a seamless experience for proof of work miners. And what that means is Unminable is a setup that allows you to mine coins with your GPUs that are not normally mineable with GPUs. Things like Dogecoin, uh, Digibyte, um, Litecoin, etc. Those are uh, uh, ASIC coins. And uh, there's a bunch of others as well. Uh, Shiba Inu is one of my favorites. Uh, there's Matic, Polygon, um, Ave, Cardano, Algorand, uh, BAT, Basic Attention Token, um, etc. So anyways, it's a pretty cool little platform. So I'm just going to go over it for you guys to give you guys a, a quick little tour. Um, so what you do is from the homepage of Unminable, you will select a token. Um, so let's just look at Shiba here. Um, and I've got another video uh, about how to mine Shiba using HiveOS. I'll link to that up here in the corner. So what you're going to do is once you've created a Shiba wallet address, what you're going to do is um, you come over here. Um, the interface for Unminable, when you're looking at the website for an individual coin, shows the different algorithms that you can utilize to earn um, those coins. So you can run ETH hash, ETC hash, uh, and Kapow for your GPUs, and you can even run RandomX uh, for your CPU. So what these do is obviously ETH hash would mine Ethereum, ETC hash is going to mine Ethereum Classic, Kapow is going to mine Raven or RVN, and then RandomX is going to mine Monero. And then like it says on the home page, our automated system takes care of all the exchanging and transferring to deliver a seamless experience for proof of work miners. So what that does is it says you mine and receive your coins directly in the asset of your choice. So your cards are actually mining Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Raven, or Monero, and then in the background seamlessly it is exchanging those coins for your selected token, whether it be Sheeb or um, you know BAT or One Inch or Matic, whatever you've selected to mine, and that all happens automatically in the background, which is pretty sweet. So, um, depending on the algorithm that you select, obviously you've got different miners that you can choose from. ETH hash, you've got Phoenix Miner, LOL Miner, NB Miner, and T-Rex. ETC hash, same thing. Phoenix Miner, LOL Miner, NB Miner, and T-Rex. Kapow, you've got NB Miner and T-Rex. And then Random X, you've got XM Rig, as well as a unminable kind of in-house created mining app that they've created, which is pretty sweet. Depending on the coin that you're mining, the only thing that you have to actually change when you have your either batch file or your HiveOS flight sheet created um, to adjust the coin that you're going to mine, let me zoom out here real quick, is the coin at the beginning of your template here for the worker. Um, so if you wanted to mine Sheeb, you would do Sheeb colon your Sheeb address, obviously, and then your worker name. If you wanted to do, say, Algorand, it's going to be the same, except the coin is going to be different at the beginning. So you would do algo colon your address dot your worker name, etc. So that's the only difference between coins um, when you're mining with Unminable, is you just change the coin at the beginning of the wallet slash worker template that they provide. Another cool thing with Unminable is they give you a referral code. And what that does, let me go over here to my unminable. 
So they give you a referral code, and what this does is this will drop the mining fee from the default of 1% down to 0.75%. And um, this is because I, when I'm creating, when I created my worker setup, I added this referral code to my configuration and that made it so that my pool fee is 0.75% instead of 1%, which is pretty sweet. Payments are automatic. Um, you have a couple different options. You can do auto pay every four hours, which this is defaulting to be turned on. And um, when you have at least the minimum balance of 600,000, in this case, Shiba coin, obviously it's gonna be different depending on the coin that you're mining. But in the case of Shiba coin, the minimum payout balance is 600,000. If you have the auto payout turned on, and if you don't have it turned on, it will just accrue, and then you can do a manual payout anytime you wish. And then what that'll do is it just instantly takes that amount and just processes the payout on the fly. And then you'll see here, this shows payment in progress, and it usually shows up in my wallet within a few minutes. It's fairly quick, at least for sheep. I don't know about the other coins, but um, so that's how that works. Uh, you have your statistics. Obviously this shows zero because I just did a payout. Um, this here shows your referral balance. And what that is, is for others who have set up their workers using your referral code, whenever they are mining Shiba coin or whatever coin, the referral balance will bump back to this figure here and that'll go on top of your regular mining balance and get transferred to your wallet when you do payouts. So it's pretty awesome. It's a cool way to earn coin that you didn't have to pay electric on when you're mining, because obviously we know that when you're mining, the balance of the best hash rate for the most efficient electric is kind of the name of the game. Anyways, let's get back to things. So, um, yeah, so it's a pretty simple interface, to be honest. Um, so you've got your workers tab. This shows your hash rate graphs, showing the current hash rate and the calculated hash rate. Current, obviously, is gonna be the reported from your rig. And then the calculated is gonna be over time. Um, it'll fluctuate depending on the share submissions from your rigs. Payments is obviously your submitted payments. Referral code shows the code that they've created for you. And then stats shows your statistics, shows the last payment date, total that you have been paid out, the earnings for the last 24 hours, etc. And then your threshold and things like that. So it's a pretty sweet little setup. The uh, start page here for whichever coin you're mining shows you the details for the server to connect to. Um, by default, it is well, it's going to vary depending on the algorithm that you choose. So there's ethhash.unminable.com, port 3333, etc hash, kapow is kp, and then random x is rx. And then similarly, uh, I think I showed earlier, if you want, you have the ability to set a region specific server, um, one that's closer to you if you so choose, which is cool. And then this shows you down here how to implement the referral code when you're setting up your configuration. So what it would be for SHIB in this case, the syntax is obviously SHIB colon your address, which is your wallet dot your worker name, and then you'd put a hashtag and then the referral code on the end. And then when you save that configuration or when you fire up the batch file, and start mining, what that's gonna do is that's gonna kick in the reduction for the fee when you're mining, it's gonna drop from 1% down to 0.75%. So anyways, you guys, it's a, just a quick little overview of the unminable platform, how it works. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, I can be reached in the Misfit Mining Discord. I'll leave a link in the description below. 
Um, if you found this useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Every thumbs up helps. And when you subscribe, make sure to ring the bell so that you get notified when I release new videos. And in the meantime, have a great day and mine on.